Well, we're celebrating another anniversary, and that's exciting. Uh, it's particularly exciting to me because in my role as dean and president of our colleges and universities, I realize uh, how certain enterprises in the college and university hit right and are what's needed. And the students don't even break down and analyze them, they just know it fits. And that, that happened with households, that the deep desire people have to be bonded and belong with close friends or uh, those with uh, same commitments and ideals was present there and therefore uh, they found themselves at home. Well, when we're talking about being together, living together, celebrating together, God has arranged that it's the Holy Spirit that is the force that bonds us together as Christians, as Catholics, as members of religious communities, as married, these kind of commitments need force to strengthen them and make them work. And uh, the Holy Spirit does that. And uh, that's exciting to realize that some guy you've only known, I don't know, a few months, is so committed to you because he's made this covenant commitment and this thing in the household and that he just says, oh, can I help you? Oh, you, need, you understand you have a problem? Oh, you know, he immediately comes forward because he sees you have a need and uh, that isn't true in general in the world. Oh, it just uh, was a thrill that um, stirred gratitude deep in my heart. And I started a lot of different things at college, university levels. But households was something that I felt that God handed on to me. And that was really different. I never took credit that I was starting something, but rather I was listening in prayer. <laughs> and that, that uh, was something that had good roots in scripture, uh, fit fully into the Christian theology and more specifically the Catholic. And uh, it just was the right thing at the right time and the right place. And that was the sense that I had that it was given to us to respond to this grace at this time. Anything you join, any new commitment you make, you find out that, uh, that there are things that have to adjust in your life to this new commitment. Well, households is certainly one of them. As you start to live in this direction, you're surprised to learn what things have to change in your life. So, learning the fidelity to the commitments through clarity as to what the commitment means in my life, clarity as to what it means to us as a group, and further clarity on uh, the sacrifices that have to be made in order to live out this together. That growth process uh, really changes a person and uh, I always laugh about it because <clears throat> I remember there were many incidents where some fellow came and he was kind of popular and you know and was moving and he joined a household or something and then uh, at the next parents' weekend or whatever, parents would come up to me and say, hey, Joe, he's a different guy. What did you do with him? 
Well, Joe had joined a household and he'd become accountable for his life. And he was able to talk out the importance of commitment and accountability. And this was something that the parents realized they hadn't taught that clearly, if they had at all. And now they had really good news. Well, I'm excited uh, to realize I have some kind of a parent role in this household uh, establishment and growth. And uh, I'm so pleased at what I see happening as that message has lived out more and more that uh, I sometimes just want to stand up and clap <laughs> and you know, say thank God for those, those things. Uh, but we've got to be grateful to the Lord that it's His grace that moves this way. And it's not just our having a good idea, it's uh, that indeed our having what God wants and how grace operates. And uh, God is generous. His arms are wide open. So one household can look a lot different than another one, but they both can be operating out of the charism of household. And so I just want to encourage you, keep going. Uh, the model's out there, the grace is operating, it's moving ahead. And so I just start that with, May the Lord bless and keep you, show his face to you and have mercy on you, turn his countenance to you and give you his peace. May the Lord bless you and trust you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.